So I'm Rick. Uh, Dang and Kim's here with us tonight. Uh, big team. Thank you. And the brains of the operation. Um, we tried to throw together, like you said, wide big picture into a small 10 minute. That's tough for any of us to do. Um, so I kind of thought the way to think about this is when I first started here in 95, 96, um, came here and there were several computers scattered throughout the building, but most of them were in the library, the media center. And uh, okay, what exactly are we doing here? What's the, what's the whole project here? We need to get these computers to talk together. Really, computers to talk together. Okay, they're gonna communicate. What for? I saw it happen right away. As soon as the first class of kids came in, they all wanted to see their library card catalog right on the screen. So we made it happen. And uh, that was sort of the beginning of seeing what the process was, why it actually was being put together that way. The kids could come in, pull up and search through the whole card catalog system in the library for any book, title, or author, or anything else because of the one server that we put in to central communicate or have a central place for all that information. So um, from that point on, we need to spread it out into the classrooms. From there, we want to go to different buildings. The needs start to grow. We need internet. We bring internet online. Brings the, the world to this building first. Um, then we started connecting buildings together with some sort of high speed expensive connections. And um, so the infrastructure is just the pieces and the wires and um, hardware and the way things communicate. And we've got a, a lot more uh, to do than just make them communicate. We have to protect the data that we are, um, um, what's the, there's a term for that, uh, custodian, data custodians, um, to make sure that the data is good, um, that it's secured, and it can move where it needs to go by whoever needs it. Um, so where we go with backbone structure, what we have is just a, um, a lot of wires, a lot of electronics that communicate and all the computers are connected. And um, it's kind of cool for me uh, to kind of see things. I, I wouldn't say I'm honored to be born in this time of life, but to be able to see how these genius people have come on and put things together electronically. And because I'm just watching you all with the iPads here and it's all wireless and look, take a look and watch the movie and hear it. That wasn't anything close to that. 20 years ago, and it's just come such a long way, and I've watched all the pieces come together. But with, with our backbone uh, infrastructure, uh, we're always trying to improve it, make it faster, um, so the kids aren't waiting. It used to be a time where kids had to wait for things to come up, really pushed that pretty hard. Um, let's see what we got next, Dang. There we go. That's kind of an, a techie overview of what the um, infrastructure is just by connecting our buildings together. They're connected with routers. And it's, it's kind of like we were talking about this today. How do you relate this to everyday people or just anyone that's really interested? You get in your car, you don't care. You just turn the key, you want to go somewhere. You don't care that it's got oil in the, well, you do care, but there's a lot of pieces to it. You don't care about all those things. You pick up the phone, you want it to work. There's a lot of complex things going on in the background. And uh, all this has to do with tra traffic flow and um, how we get the data from one place to the other correctly. So um, we've got double internet connections. Um, everything's behind firewalls. We've got a lot of security, <laughs> a lot of security here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much, that's a quick thing. Um, of course, we've got wireless access. There's one of the little guys up in the ceiling there with the, with the blue light, that's what we're connecting with tonight um, and a number of other ones here and um, thanks to Dr. Jones here kind of pushing things ahead as fast as we can we've brought signal coverage to about every corner of every building in the last year or two which is a pretty amazing feat and uh, this is a, a slide from our um, Dang runs a, a central controller for the wireless kind of brings all these little devices that are out scattered everywhere into one place. So we can see here today how many access points are out there. 
you can't really see it too well. There's a current client, says 909. That's how many laptops were connected or iPads or other school devices were connected at that point in time today. Uh, I don't see a time, but, um, and it's just, it's just information that helps us kind of gather what kind of traffic needs we have. Are there bottlenecks? Are there are, um, certain times of the day where it's getting hit hardest? And that's what this one helps us with even more so. It breaks it down into the top 10 most utilized access points, but that's an access point up there for anyone that needs to know, and you probably all have one in your house too. Um, and the top one was, uh, well, that WLC, that's a controller. Um, the second one down, MEH Library Classroom had 67 users online connected to that one device at one time. And this gives us an idea. Maybe we need to put a second one in that room, give us a little bit more coverage. Um, because it's kind of difficult to tell just by visually walking into a room and seeing what's going on in there. You really get a feel for that. So these different tools that we have gives us a, an opportunity to see how things work and how much we're using it. Um, and it's a little bit more than that. Um, this is uh, a little more than you, that you want to know. Um, it's big to us because we deal with student information in PowerSchool, the student information system we have. Um, and there's a number of different databases that we have. There's a library database of all the books, and there's food services has database of things there. And so we have to have a way to bring and connect all these different resources of data together so that they can all be utilized. Um, we found years ago, someone enrolls a student in power school, then we have to ask food services to enroll that same student in food service program. And then the librarian has to go in and enroll all their students and their classes in the Destiny library program. This allows us to do it automatically. And it's been running for a couple of years now, and it's amazing. Um, it's just a, a way to take resources and share them, because they're dissimilar. They're not all the same. They don't read from each other. Um, so when a student is enrolled in PowerSchool, an account is created in the library program, an account is created in Google Apps for their uh, drive and their files. It's all automatically done. They have a network connection ready to go. Um, and so this is the process that, that makes that happen. Am I slow or fast? Two? Okay. This is funny. <laughs> and that's kind of why when I first saw it, because I was kind of thinking, how do you really put that data objects in front of someone and explain it to them? That's it. Um, student name. Now go back one, please. Student names up there somewhere, and uh, phone number of the parent, and just every anything you can think of. Data information. It ties together with this the SIF configuration. So all the data that is in PowerSchool is accessible to all of our other programs, and it really helps a lot, including this Virginia State because they want to know who the kids are, what grades there are, everything else. So. All that data just moves smoothly between things. That's just to show you it's a little bit much of information. Um, yeah. Okay, what's that? Staff and students, right. Um, we're kind of happy about that part that uh, we, well, we are happy about it, that the students can log in with their same username and password for a lot of different programs rather than asking them to and assigning passwords and things. It's nice to have them to be able to sit down and just use the same username, same password, and they can access all these at the same time, and it's secure. Um, and that, that's a really, that's something we've been working hard on, too. Uh, we've got a web filter to filter out inappropriate content, um, malicious code from websites that you don't even realize are bad. I've been to a lot of security conferences, and one of them put up a CNN page, not to pick on CNN, it could be anyone else, and there's an ad Someone clicked on it, boom, malware is right there on the machine. We watched it happen. That was years ago. But this device protects our systems from that infectious code that can come in from anywhere. And it protects our kids in other ways, too. Um, we've got virtual machines. Um, years ago, we were buying individual servers, which are just like big computers. And we'd put them in a big table and hook them all up. Now we buy six servers, that's how many we have, six pieces of hardware, and we put about, you build 
servers virtually inside of it. So we have about 57 servers running off of this platform of hardware. We saved a ton of money and time and resources. It's just amazing how well it works. Um, right now, those are just some of the resources that the virtual systems take. And it, it's uh, beautiful, really works well. Um, virtual Center, we've got two internet connections. Uh, they're both high speed. We've been increasing the speed every time Verizon comes around, we ask them and we call and knock on the door. We need more speed, we need more bandwidth, we get it. Those are the highest speeds we can get for this location. And we're always trying to go a little bit better. Um, and this is a load balancer that we're getting ready to put in that's gonna allow us to put up some failover and a lot of data sharing. We got more pipeline that way for everyone. Everyone shares that. Um, we've also got a great super backup program that we've dang just finished putting online this week. Um, we get redundant ways of doing that. So that's about all I have. Or we have. Okay.